Today, I wanted to talk about the three stages of friendship throughout sobriety. The re-evaluation is probably one of the toughest ones because you gain a different clarity and you realize who is just your drunk crowd and who's not good for you. And that's, I think, the hard part is all these friends that you've had for so many years, it just seems like you're going to be friends forever. And here we are, like in the early stages of sobriety, you have to reevaluate like who is around you, who's your, in your inner circle and who's in your outer circle. And, you know, when you get that clarity, a lot of things start changing and it's tough to create distance and reevaluate what's actually good for you and what's not good for you, especially in the very beginning of sobriety. So like if you just have a group of friends that just drinks, obviously you're going to have to reevaluate what you're doing <laughs> if you want to better yourself. Not saying like those friends are going to be gone forever. It's just kind of like high school. You think that you belong to a certain group of friends and then you kind of grow apart when you graduate high school and then you find a different group of friends. And it's just like the stages of friendship throughout, you know, teen, early adulthood, adulthood, motherhood, parenthood. And this is where you start reevaluating, like who do you want to be in your life who is there supporting you, cheering you on, uplifting you. Um, if you're going to surround yourself with people that are still doing all the negative things that you're trying to get away from, you're going to sabotage yourself. You have to reevaluate what you're doing with yourself. Recognize that some people's habits are not going to be beneficial for your sobriety in the very beginning, especially. You can definitely reevaluate these when you're strong enough to say no in a situation that is going to make you drink. Number two would be those triggers. Gotta love those triggers. In the beginning of my sobriety, I stayed away from the like big events. All my friends were going out, having fun, but I chose to stay back because I did not want to be triggered. I know that if I was in a social situation where there was a bunch of drinking, um, it wouldn't have been good for me. It took me probably about four to six months before I wanted to be in a group of friends that were drinking and doing those kind of things. You have to put yourself around people that respect your decision not to drink and respect your decision not to want to go do things that might trigger you. That is definitely something that I've learned. And it's not easy. None of it's easy. It's just all part of doing what is best for you. Um, and number three, new friendships. So you can take those old friendships and they might grow into kind of like a new friendship, but you also will meet new friends along the way. I'm not saying it's gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen in the first couple of weeks, um, but new friendships will come. And I know that some of my friendships that I have had before I quit drinking, like they've evolved also. So it's kind of like all new friendships. You get um, new friends, you get to better your current friendships. We get to go over to barbecues when we're invited by a couple of our friends and they, they cater to our diet, our no drinking, and we all sit around and still laugh and still have a really good time. And like before that, before we quit drinking, we were sitting around drinking, but now it, the dynamics are just so different and and it's like actually more enjoyable. We leave each other's houses sober. We don't wake up 
hungover anymore, texting each other. Oh my gosh, I feel like crap. And just, it's genuine now. And you gotta remember the conversations. It's really hard when parenthood happens, meeting new friends. You never think that you're gonna meet new friends. But then you meet people that don't drink. And it's a whole different friendship because you've based most of your friendships, I mean, if you were like me, have been created because of alcohol. And now that I'm not drinking, I get to create friendships without alcohol. So they're more genuine in a way. And I love that. I went downtown with one of my new friends and we went bar hopping and it was fun. Like we drank off the zero proof menu. We had dinner, we left, we drove, we came home. I mean, it was just enjoyable. We did not feel like crap. Prior to quitting drinking, I cannot say that I came home sober. I was definitely wasted, probably puking, and so hungover the next day, and don't remember the night before. But now I can go out with new friends, go to movies, no drinking, we can go to dinner, no drinking, and just enjoy each other. Um, some of the friendships that I've distanced myself from, it goes back to stage one. Like it's hard because these people were such a big part of your life, but you have grown as a human <laughs> as, and there's nothing wrong with growing. Like in high school, I had two friends. One of them I grew up with since I was four years old and I separated myself because drugs got involved. And one of my friends separated herself from me because my boyfriend was not good. And so I was into drinking, he was into drugs, but I didn't do drugs, cross my heart. Um, but here I am like walking away from a childhood friendship because of alcohol or because of drugs and then my best friend from high school walked away from me because of a boy but then I was still in a party crowd and it was just not something that was benefiting my life and to this day we still talk but we actually got closer once I left that scene and did better for myself and you know met my husband um Yes, we partied, 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 but now like a lot of people from my past that didn't drink as much as me actually come around more. So it's game changing. Quitting drinking can change your friendship dynamics in so many ways. It can weed out the ones that are not good for you. I've lost friendships because of alcohol. I lost a really good friendship. I thought that we were gonna be friends literally forever and alcohol destroyed that friendship and um, n names were called, words were said, it just was not a good situation. And would we still be friends if alcohol didn't get in the way of us? I don't know. I think alcohol definitely destroyed my, my friendship, but it was probably for the best. You don't realize what somebody was doing to your life until you actually say goodbye to them. I don't even know if there was a goodbye. I keep saying that I've lost friends. I haven't lost any friends. I just don't hang out with people as much as I used to because I'm more present with my family. Friendship dynamics have changed. We still see our friends, but we just don't see them as much. And the ones that also have joined in on our health journey, some of them have quit drinking themselves. Some of them have um, tried to lose weight and you know eat better. We used to be the ones that encouraged people to drink. <laughs> And now we are encouraging people to quit drinking. Definitely a handful of our friends have reached out to us, said, hey, I haven't been drinking this long. And um, people that I haven't talked to in years reach out and be like, you've inspired me. I haven't drank for this long. And it doesn't matter if you're on day one or day 1000, as long as you're going, just remember that there's so many stages of sobriety and the friendships, they come and go. You can build on your current friendships. You can expand your friendships. Um, you can put like different people in inner circles, outer circles, even put them in your outer, outer circle. You're bettering yourself 
and those that love you will stay near you. They will cheer you on, they will keep you included, and they will never look down on you. I don't think that it's losing anybody. Um, I think it's just building on those current um, friendships that have stayed with you through thick and thin, and you know, it's okay to meet new people. If you don't want to meet new people, that's also okay. But sometimes people just fall into your life and it's like they were meant to be there the whole entire time. You get a whole new life once you let go of the people that were holding you back. And you don't realize that until you really reevaluate who is around you and you have to ex express your needs and wants when you're quitting drinking and what's best for you and expanding and building on friendships is definitely key to success. So remember, just never give up. Just because your friends still drink or eat like crap, that's okay. If they're not good for you, then maybe just figure it out. <laughs> on your own and time will only tell who's going to stay in your circle and who's not. We all have our own ways of dealing with things. Some of us shove people out of our life and some of us need people in our life. So just don't give up, keep going. It doesn't matter if your friends are online helping you or if they're right next to you helping you. The main thing is just do not give up. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and keep following us for more inspiring sobriety information.